All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the problem nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have nine to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have three to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have a 27 to the power of 30. And how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have nine plus nine plus nine to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten nine to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10. And this was gone from adding the bases, but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination, the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So we first start with nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10 plus nine to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out nine to the power of 10. So I get nine to the power of 10 times one plus one plus one, which is equal to nine to the power of 10 times three. And now this is equal to three squared to the power of 10 times three. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of 10 is gonna equal three to the power of 20. And I have this times three to the power of one. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to three to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe leave a like and share this to any of your friends or family members. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the problem 10 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 10. So I wanna find the value of this. So for my solution, what I'm first gonna do is rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 20 equals over 20 to the power of 10. And I'm gonna rewrite this as 10 to the power of 10 plus 10 over 20 to the power of 10. So I rewrote 20, my exponent here, as 10 plus 10. Now, the reason I did that is so I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this is an important property of exponents and I'm gonna use this on 10 to the power of 10 plus 10. So now 10 to the power of 10 plus 10, that's gonna turn into we can think of both 10, but 10 as both m and n. So this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 all over 20 to the power of 10. Now, this can be written as 10 to the power of 10 times 10 to the power of 10 over 20 to the power of 10. All I did was I just grouped 10 to the power of 10 
over 20 to the power of 10 because this way I can use the property a to the power of m over b to the power of m is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, this turns into 10 to the power of 10 times 10 over 20 to the power of 10, which is equal to 10 to the power of 10 times 1 half to the power of 10. And finally, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So this is going to turn into 10 times 1 half to the power of 10, which is equal to 5 to the power of 10. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also share this with any friends or family. Thank you.